story. A heartbreaking funeral today as four of the nine members of the Coleman family, victims of the duck boat disaster, are laid to rest. Oh 17 passengers drowned when the duck boat capsized during a storm in Branson, Missouri a week ago. The tragedy, still raw, has left many wondering, could they survive a disaster like this? Our Ann Mercogliano went to Survival Systems USA in Groton, Connecticut to learn how you can improve your chances of getting out alive. Oh, that was unbelievable. That was terrifying. Instructor Michael Mulford says as you are boarding, make a mental note of where the exits are. In other words, plan your escape before disaster strikes. Survivors of the duck boat sinking say they became completely disoriented when they went under and couldn't see a thing in the murky water. Once we get underwater, you can't see very well, if at all. So it's all going by feel and using those reference points to work your way to, to your exit. In this training simulator, Annie is told to put her hand on the window frame so even if she can't see, she can feel her way out. can't see when you're underwater you can't breathe so I knew where my exit was and I just kept in my head I know where this is I have to focus on this exit and getting out you'll notice Annie's not wearing a life vest according to these experts a life vest could actually be a liability if you are submerged inside a boat with a roof like the duck boat if the watercraft submerges that life vest is going to put you up on the ceiling and you're not going to be able to pull yourself out because of the buoyancy of the life vest but it's important to note that you should put your life vest on when you reach the surface to keep you afloat as you wait to be rescued. If you find yourself in a situation like this, you have the skills that you need to survive something like what happened to that duck boat.